Investigative reporter Jace Larson broke the story of his arrest this morning and continues to break new details. And he joins us at the Community College of Aurora, where Devon worked. And Jace, you got a copy of the arrest warrant, which paints a picture of this disturbed man. That's right. He said uh, the arrest warrant says that he sent four letters to Colorado politicians, Representative Diana DeGette and Representative Mike Kaufman, also Senator Michael Bennett and Senator Mark Udall. The arrest affidavit says that members of the Joint Terrorism Task Force watched Devon mail letters from a drive through mailbox in Denver. After searching that mailbox, investigators found letters that they think he addressed to Argentina's embassy in Washington. Agents believe that he used return addresses of two medical doctors and his former high school math teacher on those letters. At a press conference today here at the college, Staff said they are surprised to learn of these allegations against Devon. He's a, a person who you would describe as a good employee who participates and does his job well. Well, besides those letters that we just talked about that are allegedly mailed to politicians, he's also accused of sending pornography and making voicemail death threats. One of those voicemails went to his former psychiatrist and investigators say he asked her, how do you want to die? Another voicemail left for both her and her husband said, I'm going to blow your brains out. Mark, we've also learned that investigators believe he sent similar letters to Alabama politicians. So this case, according to investigators, is still very much under investigation. They are gathering more details and hope to have everything put together. There is a detention hearing that will happen later this week and a preliminary hearing that is scheduled for next week. Mark. All right, nine wants to know investigative reporter Jace Larson in Aurora. Thank you, Jace. And if convicted, Devon could be sentenced to up to five years in prison. Surveillance that would result in the arrest of Jay Devon, a Denver man who agents say had for years been sending threatening letters with white powder to lawmakers and government officials in several states. He's a, a person who you would describe as a good employee who participates and does his job well. At the Community College of Aurora, Devon. Devon's arrest shook the campus where he served as director of library services and was named administrator of the year last year. We were served with a subpoena and with warrants for records and access to certain college facilities. We have cooperated as required by law. According to his arrest affidavit, Devon began mailing the letters 16 years ago while in Alabama. He moved to Colorado in 2004, living most recently in this Denver apartment, where he allegedly sent letters to Argentine's consulates, among others, writing, Dirty fascists, you are going to die like how you kill my friends, pigs. Agents say he also wrote a Parker psychologist. You remember me. I was your patient in Indiana. You took me off my medication and told me to go to an emergency room. I know where you and your husband live. I'm going to blow both of your brains out. The president of the Community College of Aurora says it's a side of the librarian they never saw. And we were assured that at no time has there been any threat to anyone associated with the college. The FBI says it has DNA tying Devon to the letters, and how they got that is interesting in itself. Agents got a search warrant for Devon's office at the college and took a napkin, fork, and spoon from his trash can, then compared the DNA on that to, want, to that on one of the letters, and they say they had their guy. Jim. Sean, thank you. The Community College of Aurora put Devon on administrative leave with pay. For now, he is being held without bond pending a hearing on Wednesday.